Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Today is October 11th. Let's hop into what the universe is saying to you today. Stand strong in your own power and make positive decisions for yourself. Take control and make changes that will enhance your life in all ways. All right. So there's our positive affirmation for the day. Let's hop into it, Pisces, and see where you're at on your soul's journey. Where is Pisces on their soul's journey? Mm. All right. Love and light. Bless it be. All right. Where is Pisces on their soul's journey? Oh. All right. So we have try to be the rainbow in someone else's cloud. And what I see in this card is that, you know, sometimes people are just angry because of their personal situations and it really don't have nothing to do with you. You know, so if you've been kind of mean to somebody lately or ignoring somebody, it's just, you know, give them a compliment. Say something nice to them. Tell them their hair is beautiful or they look nice today. You know, just compliment someone that's usually angry or seeming like they're always down or got bad vibes, you know. So I think you're just encouraged to start encouraging others, you know, just you never know what a person's story is. And sometimes they just need somebody to tell them something good about themselves, you know. Seem like you got some people that that's around you that may have a negative spirit, you know, always in the midst of something. You know, maybe a little bit of encouraging words can just make somebody feel better with the anger that they're dealing with. All right, Pisces. So let's hop into this reading. Let's see what is going on today. What is going on? What is the energy around Pisces? We have the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Ooh, what is the energy around Pisces? The hermit here. I have to chase this. Someone's in hiding. <laughs> Someone's been hiding, but not anymore. I think they found what they've been looking for. I think someone has found what they were looking for. And then the food. All right, and everything. Thing that's crossing this Pisces is the Queen of Cups. All right. Ooh. Let's see what's happening. A new beginning. A new beginning, Pisces. So, Pisces, what I see in here is someone may have had you involved in a situation to where they had someone else, you know, was juggling you around. Ooh, but they always viewed you as a queen. They view you as the queen of cups and the queen of wands. The queen of wands sitting here proud, confident, beautiful, youthful. You know what I'm saying? The queen of cups, nurturing, loving, caring. You know, queen of wands, passionate. Queen of cups, just you know, got that lovely spirit, that, that soul snatching spirit. It's like the queen of cups can just, you know, capture your love and kind of like hold it hostage. Like not that you literally hold it hostage. It's just that like once a person get a dose of your love, it never leaves their spirit. So you a soul snatcher. And you're very passionate. You're be very beautiful, loving, caring. You know, you you pretty much everything someone could want, you know. And I feel like this person been juggling you around somewhere in the past with this three of pentacles. But y'all have always had like a solid connection. And in the midst of that, something happened, Pisces. To where this person has been inspired to come towards you. 
finding creative ways to just really get deeper and deeper into your energy because they're very passionate about you. They may have been a little bit immature in the past with their feelings, but I feel like they found what they've been looking for because they did some soul searching themselves. Maybe you retracted your energy from them with this cap being on your cup because that is a challenge. You know, maybe you retracted your energy from them at one point or another. And without your energy, they realized how much love and passion that they actually do have for you. And they're ready to have this like fresh start, a, a happy beginning or a new beginning. You know what I mean? They don't really know like where this connection may go, though, but they got really good vibes about it. You know, so let's hop into it, Pisces, and see why is this Three of Pentacles here? Why is this Three of Pentacles here for Pisces? Woo. Why is this Three of Pentacles? Oh, there we go. The Nine of Pentacles. Oh. This person may have been single for a while. You know, just really just being responsible for themselves in a situation. They may have had third parties or, or they dealing with someone in the past. But right now, I'm kind of viewing them as a single person, you know, who 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 really wants to be grounded and in a um, strong connection with someone else. And I believe um, after living life a little bit, seeing how they used to be in the past, having, you know, a couple of people in their energy are always juggling connections. You know, I just really see this person kind of like laid back at this point, been living a single life and just really inspired about who touches their heart. You know, and I feel like this person wants to come up out of that single life and, so, and start having solid relationships. Why is this page of wands here? We have the queen of pentacle and the devil. Strong Capricorn energy. Who inspired by passion. They view you as grounded. That was three queens showed up. So it's like you almost mean everything to them. Like you everything they could want in a woman or a man. It doesn't matter if it's a queen's coming up. They also could be masculine energies. Or your person could be in their feminine energies because they're lusting and loving and, you know, wanting that attachment, missing that, that grip. You know what I mean? That you have on them. Because I feel like you've been out of this person's energy as well. And that's what got them really coming to their senses about the feels that they have for you. So with this devil and the queen of pentacles, Pisces, I feel like this person is very passionate about you. They look at you as you're like you everything. You capable of everything. They feel like you can do everything. Like you're all that they need. And they miss that attachment and it's like kind of intoxicating to them and exotic. And, you know, they want that energy from a strong, dominant person. And they view you as that, you know, maybe y'all role play. Maybe y'all tight chain each other up to the bed. I don't know. But it seems like y'all got this deep intimacy, like there's this soul snatching connection like this person has you you have them you know and they're missing it they're coming in they're coming in pisces because they coming up out of that single life and they're very grounded as well they're very they they've thought about this pinnacles they're great thinkers too you know what i mean they sit and plan plans that's based off of passion all right queen of wands three of cups this person could look at you like family they could be close to your family y'all might see each other out during family functions i feel like this is someone who knows your family your siblings 
They're around you, but they're not in your circle. But they're around people you know very well, like family. What else for this Queen of Wands? The world. There's a cycle ending here. There's a cycle ending here, Pisces, with your person. They're making the necessary changes. They're bringing this loneliness to some type of end. They're going to be coming in, Pisces. You may see them at a family function. I feel like they're going to not make it obvious that they're wanting to see you. I feel like it's going to be just like uh, they're going to try to make it seem like a coincidence that we're at the same place at the same time because they want to close up the some type of cycle from you guys past because they want a fresh new start. They want a new beginning, a happy beginning, a new beginning. Why is this hermit here for Pisces? Wow, that flew so far over. I'm going to go chase it, you guys. Hold on one second. All right, I chased it because it was going. It was going, 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 coming up out of this single life here with the hermit with a lot of passion. Look at that rod. Someone wants it. They want you. They want to show you. Like It's like nothing's going to keep this person away from you kind of feel it's like they're going to do anything in their power to get around in and around your energy so they can close up an old cycle and start a new beginning here with you something that's happy passionate you know this person is like i could they like oh my i just was gonna say like this person really like this how you gonna act when they come around you ain't gonna know what to say you ain't gonna know what to do it might catch you off guard. You might be at a loss for words. Let's see. Why else is the hermit here? Queen of Swords. This person is coming to communicate. They tired of playing games with you, Pisces. They don't, they don't really want to. They tired of playing games with you. They finna come and clear the air up around this situation that you all have going on. And they may be expressing some feelings or, you know, something, some passion. But see how this queen is turned. So this person, you know, the queen don't care. She going to say it how she going to say it. But I feel like this person going to speak their truth in a passionate way with wisdom backing them up. Because, see, they, shine, they, they, got, they see the big picture of this situation that you all had together. So they want to be smart about it, but they want to be firm. They want to be respected. They they don't they don't want you to think that they playing any type of mind games with you. They want to be stern, you know, solid. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This could be a past life connection, or someone you have a soul tie to, a strong soul tie. Someone that's been in your energy for a while. What is this new beginning this person wants? What is the new beginning for Pisces with this person? Am I going to take that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's in the cups. Happiness, fulfillment, emotionally. This is someone who wants to care for your emotions. Someone who wants to protect your emotion. This is someone who wants to start something strong here. Why is the fool here? Five of Cups. They want to come out of a sad situation with you. Because they, they love you. They got love for you. They want a partnership here, Pisces. Something that could grow into a family. That's the happy beginning, the new beginning. This, this person want more than what they've ever given you in the past. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to disappoint you no more. They want to be open and ready. They just hoping you ready. They want you to believe in them. They want you to know what they saying is real and it's coming from the heart. If you sad about it or if they disappointed you, they want to turn that around. Happy beginning, new beginning. 
They want to turn that sadness around. If they've ever, okay, it's like I can hear them. If I've ever hurt you, I'm sorry. Give me the opportunity to make it right. Because they 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 don't want to be out of your energy. They don't want to be by themselves. They don't want to be with nobody else in them third party situations. They passion is for you. They obsessed over you. They lust over you. They love you. Three queens was out. They they feel like you're grounded, you're passionate, you're beautiful, you're loving, you're nurturing. You know what I'm saying? They know your people. They just want to end the cycles that was. They want to live in what is. This person that gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge on, on you as an individual, like as if they learned you, learned how to treat you. Because I feel like you've been solid and setting boundaries. This person is coming at you. They may be at a loss for words or have you at a loss for words because they're going to come in so strong, but so passionate and gentle, but so firm and, and solid and, and wise. They want you to respect what they saying. You know what I mean? Because they, they want to take away any pain they may have caused you in the past. So you can have a happy beginning, that new beginning. Let's see. They want to protect you. They want to protect your emotion, the magician. They want to make some things happen. They ready to make something happen, Pisces. They ready to do whatever it takes to get to you. They want to protect you. All right. What's the message of guidance here for Pisces? The four of cups. <sighs> Pisces. Take your time. You know what I'm saying? There's no rush to make a decision here. Because cause like I said, this person may have hurt you in the past. Because it goes backwards for this person may have hurt you in the past. Or made you or told you these things before but never really delivered on it. And I think you um just a little cautious here. Because that's why I say I feel like they've gained a lot of wisdom. They learn how to treat you. They know that you're their person. It's some type of soul tie or past life connection. Let's get some more guidance and messages out here. Why is the four cups here? The hangman. Pisces energy. This is your energy. So I guess the message of guidance here is try to look at this from a different perspective. You know, I know if you've gained wisdom over time, too, if this is a past person or someone that you've dealt with before, you know, the choice is always yours. But I think the message of guidance here is to try to um, look at this offer from a different perspective. You know what I'm saying? Look at it with, through like a brand new pair of eyes. Why else is this four of cups here for Pisces? The Empress. Pisces, be strong in your truth. Be strong in the boundaries that you set. Be you. Protect yourself by all means necessary. But relax. Go with the flow sometimes. You know, we know you strong. We know you don't got room for error. But you're powerful. You, you're, you can't be broken. You know what I mean? You can't be broken. Be the queen that you are. You know, you more than enough to this person. You more than enough for yourself. Be open to letting your emotions be real and letting them flow. Look at things from a different perspective here, Pisces. Don't try to control this situation. Let this situation flow. Give this person an opportunity to speak. You know what I'm saying? Think about it if you have to. But if you're thinking about it, view it from a different perspective angle or a different perspective. Try to look at this through someone else's eyes. You know, really look in their eyes and, and try to look through their soul because you've already snatched theirs. So you got a decision. You got somebody that want to come in and, and make you an emotional offer. Someone who has like a lot of lust, desire, love, passion, you know, for you. It's like this person got everything wrapped up in one. So, you know, there's a decision at the bottom of the deck, the page of cups. You may be surprised by what happens next, you know. 
So I hope this resonates with someone. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. All right. And we have the um, sixth chakra, and this is the third eye chakra, and this one is relevant to inner knowing. So you already know what you're going to do. Okay, I trust my inner knowing. I am at peace with, and I am at, okay, let me start off. <laughs> I trust my inner knowing, and I am at peace with myself. I create more moments of stillness and silence, and I listen for the truth. I am open to connecting with and listening to my gut and my heart's feelings. And I don't override them with my mind's logic. So it's like, listen to your heart on this one. I practice meditation, prayer, and contemplation. And really think about it, you know? So inner knowing is our positive of energy for the day, Pisces. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have for you, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.